Dr. Weston, I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, no, no. It's so nice to see you again. Um... <laughs> Remember, I volunteered at your clinic for a little while to try to get over my dead sister, but that didn't work, so... <laughs> then I went on vacation, and now I'm back, and I feel pretty good about my sister. Well, except for the fact that she's still dead. <laughs> Doris, please, please, come on in. Well, so, well, what can I do for you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Doris, and I'm your neighborhood lady, Rhonda Cosmetics girl, and today's your lucky day. I'm here to offer you the finest of personal grooming products. For oh, the, uh, oh, yeah, excuse well, me. Please don't see. talk. I, I'll lose my place. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. Well... Let me introduce myself. My name is Doris, and I'm your neighbor. I, 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 I'm just, I'm not really interested in any personal grooming products today. Oh, okay. Of course not. Sorry I bothered you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. It's, it's, uh, uh, what have you got? I have roll-on mousse. <laughs> Yes. Roll on moose. Huh? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Do you want orange blossom or a new car smell? Uh, new car. Leather or velour? Surprise me. Fine, here, that's all right. Dear. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just take that one. Uh oh. What? What? Oh, oh, you need more? Shannon, help I, I, I don't have any change. I've never needed it before. <laughs> oh, stupid, stupid. Oh, I, I, I could bring you your change tonight. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll, that'll be fine. It's, it's, it's nice to see you again, uh... Doris. Doris. <laughs> Just how we do it is no mystery. One by one, we fill the days. We find a thousand different ways. Sometimes the answer can be hard to find. That's something I will never be. I'm always here for anything you need. Rain or shine. This, this x-ray is so blurry. What is it supposed to be? Oh, I think that's uh, Mr. Stevenson's left ankle. Well, it doesn't look like an ankle. It looks like a, a cold front moving in from Canada. It's that damn x-ray machine again. It's... <laughs> what is that smell? I, 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 I don't smell anything. Here? Can we just get to work, please? Where is Laverne? In Hickory. I guess she had to go home and see Tater Norton in the hospital. I believe his Christian name is Potato. <laughs> well, anyway, Potato was passed out in the meadow. Some crazy kids were out cow tipping, and it seems uh, Tater got flattened. <laughs> or should I say mashed? <laughs> You know, we have got to raise some money for a new x-ray machine. I think we better work the phones tonight. You can't, dear. I'm going to the opera. Opera? Hey, rich people. Maybe you could raise some money there. What do you want me to do? Stand in the lobby with a tambourine? <laughs> Good idea. Here's a cup. <laughs> Did you get a new car? <laughs>
Well, hi, I've been expecting you. How you don't know me? <laughs> yes, I do. My father told me you were coming. He remembered me? <laughs> yes, you're, uh, uh... <laughs> Beatrice. Doris. Doris. I have Dr. Weston's change. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, well, bye-bye. <laughs> what? I don't suppose you'd be interested in seeing any of my products. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Right. Why would you need beauty products? You're so beautiful. Do come in. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm a pretty lousy salesperson. I mean, I wouldn't even buy anything from me, and I could really use some beauty products. <laughs> don't put yourself down like that. Sorry. <laughs> well, don't apologize. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh-oh. I can smell low self-esteem a mile away. Doris, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you need help. I know I do. For what? Doris, you may find this hard to believe, but I've struggled with my own self-esteem issues. Well, maybe you could give me a few pointers. Oh, well, I, I don't really think I'm qualified. But you're so together, so self-assured. Do sit down. <laughs> I hate to bother you. Your time must be so valuable. It is. <laughs> uh, Doris, are you sure you want me to help you? If you want to. What do you want? Whatever you want. <laughs> Doris, do you know what you're doing? Sweating. <laughs> Good morning, Harry. Morning, Sophia. <laughs> hey, Harry, did you get a new car? Yes, Sophia, yes, I did. Well, it stinks. Hi, Sophia. What are you doing down here so early? There's a sale at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Half off on G-strings. <clears throat> Sophia, maybe you don't realize what they mean by G-strings. Butless underwear. <laughs> surprise, surprise! Whoa. Mark. Margaret, Margaret, what, what, what is all this? Well, last night at the opera, you mentioned that you needed a new x-ray machine. Voila! Margaret, you shouldn't have. Oh, shut up, Harry. Hi. <laughs> I'm Dr. Maxine Douglas. <laughs> and this is very generous of you. Margaret Randall, it's my pleasure. And a significant tax deduction. <laughs> uh, hey, as long as you're giving stuff away, we could use a new air hockey table at the home. <laughs> Boy, I can't wait to try this baby out. Right this way, boys. And strip down to your shorts. I'm in a picture-taking mood. Margaret, I, I, I don't know how to thank you. Well, you can thank me by being at my house tomorrow night. I'm having a dinner party, and I will not take no for an answer. In that case, I'd be delighted. Wonderful. Dinner's at 8. I'll, uh... Be counting the minutes. <laughs> Looks like someone's got the hots for you, Harry. Sophia, don't be silly. She's an acquaintance. I gave her a ride home the other night. And she gave you an x-ray machine. What was it, lover boy? A little full contact fundraising? No, Sophia, there was no contact. Well, there was an accidental brush when I reached over to open the door for her. See, good things happen when you go around feeling up old ladies. <laughs> Harry, oh, I'm so glad you could make it. Uh, Margaret, this is an incredible house. <laughs> Did you have any trouble finding it? Uh, not at all. I just followed the signs on the parkway. <laughs> This is Margaret's house, next three exits. Oh, 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 o
Harry, that's marvelous. Everybody gather round. Did you hear what Harry said? Oh, Margaret, it wasn't that funny. It was... Oh, I asked him if he had trouble finding the house. And, uh, uh, what was it you said, Harry? <laughs> I, I said there were signs on the parkway that said, Margaret's house, next three exits. Yes. <laughs> I don't get it. Because it's big, George. Uh, oh. So this is the Harry we've been hearing so much about. I am, you have. Uh, uh, George, uh, how much did you say you were contributing to Harry's clinic? How about if I get back to you? How about if I get a new lawyer? I'm back and I'm writing a check. <laughs> Margaret, I really appreciate all that you're doing for us, but I'm not quite sure what we've done to deserve this. You touched me last night, Harry. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know your work. It's so selfless, so meaningful. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, shall we eat? Yes. Time for dinner, everyone. Should we all just go along into the dining room? Oh, Margaret, you're right. He's darling. I should hope so. He's going to be my next husband. <laughs> <laughs> Would you excuse me for a minute, Harry? Certainly, dear. Thank you. So, Harry, looks like Margaret's taken quite a liking to you. <laughs> oh, I, I like her, too. A word to the wise, Harry. She adores French bath oil. Sure, <laughs> well, who doesn't? <laughs> so, you're the new boyfriend. I'm Edgar. Oh, uh, uh, Harry, uh, uh, what did you say? Now, you take good care of my girl. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Margaret. She's madly in love with you. Huh. Well, I guess the best man won. Uh, wait, wait, excuse me. I, 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 I have no feelings for Margaret. She, me, she's just a plaything to you? No, 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 no. I'm warning you, young man. If you break her heart, I, I, I shall have to give you a good caning. Edgar, Edgar, you have the wrong idea. I, I, I barely know Margaret. There's absolutely nothing going on between us. Nothing? Oh, I, I beg your pardon, Harry. I, I'm sorry I was so hard on you, but... Oh, it's this blasted temper of mine. Listen, Edgar, if, if you're interested in Margaret... I, I, I adore the woman, but she hardly knows I'm alive. Well, why don't you tell her how you feel? Oh, I will, I will. I, I'm just waiting for the right moment. Well, how, how long have you been waiting? Since 1938. <laughs> Before we begin, have you ever had any counseling therapy groups? I took a course in assertiveness training. Really? You? Yes! <laughs> that was as far as I got. <laughs> okay, let's paint a little picture of Doris. Now, what are the things you like about yourself? I can control my hiccups. That's it? You think it's easy? All right. And what are the areas that you feel could use improvement? Everything else. Oh, Doris. I know all about that little voice that says you can't do anything right. You know my mother? the voice inside, the one that says, you're a lousy salesperson, or no man will ever want you, and you must learn to respond with your own voice and say, tish tosh, I like me. <laughs> Even when your voice says, look at you, look at you, your business has failed, and you're an unmarried mother living at home, and the only man in your life is your father. <laughs> Maxine. Harry, I just love my new x-ray machine. 
seeing things I haven't seen in months, like the insides of patients. Maxine, I've, uh, I, I've got a little problem. You need an x-ray? I'll x-ray you. No, I mean I accepted this machine without realizing why Margaret was being so generous. I thought she wanted to help us out. Well, that, and I'm afraid she's hopelessly in love with me. Really? Wow, Harry, if you play your cards right, we might get a new EKG machine. Come on, Maxine, I'm serious. Or maybe an MRI or a CAT scan. Boy, Harry, if you're half the man I think you are, I could be looking at a new Buick. Doris, you have to come out of there. I've changed my mind. I don't want to meet a man. Then I would suggest you come out of the men's room. Okay, now be strong. And remember, you may not find a man tonight. It can take weeks, months. You could sit here night after night and the only person who even says hello just wants to know if you're using your ashtray. I've heard. <laughs> now remember everything I taught you. Lipstick check. Good. And toss, toss, fluff. Excellent. Now let's try our laugh. <laughs> and you're cleared for takeoff. Oh, I hope I don't crash. Don't be silly. Now, Doris, go out there and make me proud. And remember, self-esteem doesn't happen overnight. So what do you think of my friend? She's very pretty. Prettier than me? <laughs> Margaret. Harry, what a wonderful surprise. I, I, I'm not interrupting, am I? Oh, not at all. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, well, uh, Margaret, I, uh, I, need to, I need to talk with you. Well, it's not about the x-ray machine, is it? God, I hope not. <laughs> oh, Harry, isn't this nice? It's so much more pleasant than last night. Just the two of us. <laughs> Margaret, you're a very attractive woman, and I like you so very much. Oh, I've I was... heard that. <laughs> Edward, what are you doing here? I have company. So I see. Oh, the flowers are for you, my dear. But for you, sir, a severe tongue lashing. Edgar, just, just calm down. I will not calm down. I'm not giving up the woman I love to the first randy dandy that comes along. <laughs> Randy Dandy. No, no more words. I'm going to take action. I brought pistols. <laughs> oh, I left them in the cab. Edgar, what is this? You're just no, being ridiculous. Stay out of this. Oh, I'm sorry I spoke so harshly to you, my dear, but I am vexed up to here. You really don't understand. Please don't try to sweet talk your way out of this, young man. I'm not losing Margaret without a fight. And if you're not man enough to fight for her, you don't deserve her. Just, Edgar, I'm not going to fight you. You're, you're conceding? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. And Margaret, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, uh, Margaret, I'm terribly sorry, too, for disturbing you, but... Oh, I'm blind with passion. You've got to love that. Edgar, would you give me a moment alone with Harry? Uh, perhaps you could put these in some water for me. Oh, well, now, now remember that I'm just in the kitchen. <laughs> no funny business. Well, I mean, Edgar won fair and square, I suppose it's... Better to have loved and lost than lost. Knock it off, Harry. <laughs> you were never really interested in me, were you? Well, Margaret, I just hope I didn't do anything to, to lead you on. Oh, Harry, I was the one who went after you. Well, but at least I could have done something. To oh, just... shut up, Harry. <laughs> I am letting you off the hook. Well, maybe it all worked out better this way. I mean, looks like Edgar is like nuts about you. <laughs> He's just nuts. But he is a dear, and... You know, I never really thought about him that way before. Though I do think he's got a bit of fire left in him, don't you? Well, I'll say with the dueling, the caning, the slashing, and the lashing, I mean, this man is downright dangerous. You're sweet, Harry. 
Oh, dear. I hope you'll be very happy. Oh, thank you. Oh, you never give up, do you? <laughs> Can you blame a man? <laughs> Look at that. This, 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 this. <laughs> Someone wonderful. Already? Boy, I am good. <laughs> Come on, I, I want you to meet him. No! Hey, Carol, you look great. Must be getting close to the last call. <laughs> What are you doing? Stop it! Yeah, Carol, go get your own girl. <laughs> Kelly, go home. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> Doris, may I speak with you for a minute? Uh, I'll be right back. Hey, I've heard that one before. How do I know you're not going to go to the ladies' room and sneak out the window? Here. Yeah, the other half when you get back. A one-dollar bill? <laughs> There's three more where that came from. I cannot allow this to happen. All my hard work. What, what are you talking about? Charlie. I, I know him. He's, he's shallow and superficial. He's an idiot. So? You think I come to this place to find a meaningful relationship? I want to have fun, Carol. Yes, but you don't know what Charlie's idea of fun is. Yes, I do. He told me. <laughs> Doris, I don't want you to go out with Charlie. You want to hear something great? What? I don't care what you want. After all I've done for you? Carol, that, that is what you've done for me. Sophia? What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? I came for the free pretzels. 